Today, I look at LastPass for applications to see if I can get VMware vSphere client to cooperate. Now, I did do a test video earlier and it was a little painful learning some lessons from it. Now, I'm trying to do a concise how to video. So, yeah, I already have LastPass application, uh, free password manager. That's a Chrome plugin and it's been installed. But you go down lower in the LastPass downloads and you got LastPass for applications. So, I'm going to go ahead and download that. And, uh, well, fine, I already had a copy of it. Let me launch this new copy. And I'll go ahead and install it right in front of you. Uh, the premise here is I'm going to see if I can get VMware vSphere Client to cooperate. It's a Windows native app. That's actually going away soon, but it's still a hassle to type in administrator vSphere local on a, a lab situation that I'll be demoing and I'll have people talking to me and so forth. So I'd actually rather automate a little bit of that. Horrible idea from a security perspective. But this would be a private network and it'll be fine. So I'm going to just go and do a next, next install. Let it run at the end. And we're done with the browser there. So now I have an icon on my tray. So what are we going to do with this? How about click on the tray icon and then say, add an application. Click the find button, point my mouse to the window that we care about right now. Click on next. And we're, it's important to train it. That way we'll get the login automated, not just the filling in of the data. So I'm going to do train. Train again. It's warning me, ah, you want to delete the data that's in there. So sounds good. Click OK. All right, so we've got a particular server we like to log into. Click login and just wait a little bit and now don't click on anything else other than stop training i learned earlier that clicking the other dialog boxes does not really help all right click next autofill and okay now i have another one i want to learn i'm going to clear some nag screens we're done with that window. If I right click on the tray icon, I can launch a second instance of VMware vSphere client. We know I'm supposed to clear that, right? So let's do it again. Click, add application, find, click, next, train, train. Okay. That's all done. Click on stop training. And next. And autofill and OK. So let's bring up a third window. Why not? Click here. Say fill application. Now because I have more than one filled out, once I point to the window, it has a drop down menu. So I have to disambiguate or, or figure out with its help which one I want to do. And luckily it says VCR client, but also reads me the second field, uh, the name of uh, the first field I type. So um, sure, let's do uh, a server login here. That failed horribly. So let's try again. I've seen it fail like this before and I, I'll show you how to clean it up as well. So much for simple, but Okay. VCSA. This one works great. I do nothing after selecting. I just get my hand off the keyboard and mouse and it typed everything for me and hit login for me. So it's pretty slick. Does not click this OK next screen, but I've got my mouse control back right away and ready to proceed. So what went wrong there? Well, important for me to show you that because I'm admitting it's not a perfect tool. Um, how about we go to the last pass vault? I set up a whole separate dedicated account for a trade show that I'm going to probably delete soon. I don't really care what you're seeing here. It's fine. Okay, vSphere client. So one of them failed miserably. Now a couple things here. Lesson learned would be you probably want to throw the name up here so you can figure out what the heck is what. And why did it fail when those two things are filled in? I don't know. So I'm actually going to start 
all over again. So I'm going to delete that one. And this one we can clean up. Oh, delete that one too. Because I didn't really do it right from a naming perspective either. Okay, so now that we have kind of the rhythm down, we can close all these windows too. Ready to start fresh and train carefully again. Here we go. Launch the Windows application. Click on the tray icon. Add application. Find. Click. Next. Train. Train. Make sure all this is blank and the cursor is in the first field. Click OK. Let's see how we do. I'm going to do tab, tab, enter, and hit stop right away over there. Let's see if that gave us a good kind of macro run. So next, tap on autofill, and let's prepend cut and pay, by cut and paste the name there, and click OK. All right. How do we test it? Close all instances of the client, launch the client, and launch fill application. Point to the window. OPK. Okay. Because there was only one, it didn't pop up asking us what do we want. It just assumed we want the only thing it had. And it worked beautifully. So it seems I now have a rhythm on how to do this reliably. Took a, work, a bit of work to get to this point, the normal. Now there are some gotchas. But if you follow along with this, you should have success like I did. All right, let's do it again for the next login. And that's a, a host name here. So um, add application. Blank that out again. Stop training right away, hit next, turn on autofill and prepend the name and hit OK. Close those manual dialog boxes manually because I can't automate that I found. All right. All instances are closed, so I start a fresh one. Doesn't really matter what's in there. I should be able to fill the application with whatever I want. Beautiful. VCSA works. I probably don't even need to wait for it to finish. I'll open a second instance. That's pretty confusing, but all right, there we go. So we already have VCSA logged in. How about we logged into a log into a host this time? Add application. Find that is a mistake. Sorry. Click here. Fill application. Click there. And let's log into a server or host this time. Hmm. <sighs> All right, it messed up again. Um, I have an idea. Let's do this. Uh, let's go to the vault. Is there something we can do to save it? Not really, because the fields are filled in. So it's hard to say. So how about we delete it? And try a little different technique. Instead of training before typing anything in, I think about this. What's different about this run? What's different is before I even got to the train dialog, I've deleted all fields. This connection failed, it says. Let's make sure I have a clean run with nothing there there the first that's all I did deleted that field all 
All right, next train. Pasting didn't work, perhaps. It's the only thing I can think of at this point. It's a little bit of a desperate measure. Hit stop training. Hit next. Autofill. Um, and prepend. And OK. All right, so we open a second window now. Maybe it doesn't like second windows, or maybe everything's going to work just peachy now. I don't really know. Let's fool it. We've got something else there. Fill application. Beautiful. It works. So I think we want to avoid pa uh, pasting. Control-V will paste whatever. I don't know. Maybe the macro learned Control-V, but we actually want the literal characters there in the first field. So I'm confident now to move on with machines three through six. So hopefully you found this look at LastPass application or LastPass for applications. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting TinkerTry dot com.